Hello Aries, if you guys are new, my name is Cognitive TVC. welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be getting some urgent messages from Spirit. So the stone I wanted to use for you guys today is the Amethyst Stone. So let's get started on your reading. Alright, hope you guys are having a wonderful day by the way. Alrighty, so Spirit, can you help us get some urgent messages for Aries? Help us get some urgent messages for Aries. What do they need to know? Spirit, help us get some urgent messages for Aries. Alrighty, so let's stop right here, see what we have. So we have all goodbyes don't need to be sad love. Mm. And we have express yourself. let go of resentment mm. okay one second and we have try a different race okay and we have show some more gratitude it's time for a mental health day mm. okay and we have take a break and reflect and we have give thanks oh okay well i want to get into this for sure so oh whoops one second let's fix this a little bit okay Alrighty, that's way better so i feel like at this very moment aries it seems like things are getting a little bit hectic in your life um and i feel like you are having a hard time coping with the changes you are reacting to your life and the random <clears throat> excuse me the random occurrences and you're not really handling it well and I feel like this is a bit of a build-up how you normally are it, doesn't really seem like you work through your emotions on a day-to-day -day basis in fact it seems like that's just something that you don't do at all anytime you go through something you brush it off and you keep moving forward but I want you to know that it's totally fine to fall it's totally fine to have a moment where you feel like you've had enough as long as you're committed to yourself and you're willing to continue to fight for yourself, taking a break, there's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like you have a lot to prove and you have a lot of responsibilities and you've just never been in a position where you could slow down. Maybe there's a lot of people depending on you or there's a lot of things that are riding on you and you just can't afford to have a moment to just pause but when you repress your emotions, there will be a, a pause whether you like it or not. It's just when the pause comes, it will be longer than it should be and you won't be in control. You see, when you choose to take time out of your day to work on yourself mentally, you find that healthy medium. You get to be control of your life and the balance in it. But when you repress, you reach your breaking point your breaking point can be any day you just realize that life just keeps getting harder and harder and it's the same routine that you had before it just gets harder to maintain and fake you know what you feel and at this point your feelings have come to the surface and it's coming out in the form of anger and confusion and as you can imagine, it's going to evoke the same emotions from other people. They're going to be mirroring your energy. So you may be angry in this moment. You may be confused as to why you're so angry. And the people around you are mirroring your energy. So if you're snapping, they're snapping. If you're confused, they're confused. No one is mitigating the situation no one is applying opposite energy if you're mad no one's trying to cheer you up if you're confused no one's trying to provide you with clarity unfortunately 
your energy is so strong in these moments that it's just turning into an energy transfer. Whatever you feel, it is then what other people are going to feel. So in this moment, something I feel like you should definitely practice is normalizing dealing with your emotional and mental health on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, that may be a lot for you. Like, wow, dealing with it every single day? Yeah, I'm not saying to do it for a couple hours a day, but I'd say start off small, maybe five minutes a day, just getting in your thoughts, questioning what you feel and trying to come up with a solution and gradually increase it to the point where it becomes something like meditation. It just comes naturally and it becomes normalized and it becomes a part of your life to the point where it has such a positive effect and it's just a normal routine for you. It's not something that's hard to tap into. So I would say start with five minutes a day because you're there where the cliff is there and of course, there's an ocean behind it, but if you jump or dive into this water, it might hurt you a little bit. You'll survive, but instead of jumping into this body of water, maybe use, I don't know, paraglide, paragliding, or using a parachute so that the fall isn't so hard on your body. There's a better way, Aries. There's a better way of dealing with things talking about it again I'm not saying it's going to be an easy journey start off with five minutes a day but you want to make this a daily thing because it should be a daily thing you're not there to the point where you can do a couple hours a day because you may feel like you're drowning in your emotions and because you've neglected them for such a long time it's not going to be easy you may feel like it's overwhelming and you can't take it five minutes a day start off with that okay and we have, you deserve good things too, absolutely. You're just not yourself right now. You're not yourself and you're gonna get back to who you are, but a better version, a version of you that will normalize expressing yourself, communicating, being honest, and making sure that if you're not okay, speaking up and saying so, or if you need a break, you know, not being afraid to say that the better version of you will understand that avoiding isn't the way to go. Lying to yourself isn't the way to go. But dealing with it and finding a healthy medium or finding peace in the chaos is the way you want to do things for sure. And you're going to get there to the point where it becomes normalized. But I want to say during this journey, give yourself time to adapt. So if you have your days where you feel like, oh my gosh, why can't I get this right? Why is it so hard for me to do this? Just remember... This is years worth of repression. It could take you years to get it right, and I want you to be okay with that. Just knowing that you're getting better and you're not who you were yesterday should be enough for you to be content and continue on with the journey. All right, so let's see what else we have. If you're not ready, that's fine, no rush. Absolutely, take your time, five minutes a day. But you wanna make sure that you are taking some steps forward, even if they're baby steps. So try to make this a daily thing. If you need to, if five minutes is too much to be in your thoughts, give yourself two and a half minutes, but gradually increase on the time you spend bettering yourself and working through your emotions and becoming more emotionally aware slash more, in, more emotionally intelligent. And I say the same thing mentally as well, just making sure that you just have a conversation with yourself, whether out loud or in your head, like, am I okay today? Do I need maybe a nap? Should I consume some more protein? Maybe I should increase on some workouts or decrease. I'm feeling a little bit of pain. Maybe I should take the day off tomorrow. Just, you know, being self-aware and treating yourself with some, some more care. All right. And we have check in with your loved ones. Hmm. Definitely. And we have one step at a time. And don't forget to make it about you as well. If you're checking in with loved ones, don't be afraid to express yourself and talk about the things that you may need or the things that these relationships may be lacking. 
just don't be afraid to express yourself. There's a way to talk about what you feel without becoming or coming off as disrespectful. You talk with the other person and, and find a healthy medium that works for you both. Communication is key as well, as always. All right, and we have it's okay to fall, just get back up. Absolutely. So this is the energy, Aries, all right? So take it easy on yourself, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself and understand you're human and we've all been there. You're no different than the rest of us. All right, so that is the energy. So that is all I have for you guys, Aries. I hope that it resonate with you. Of course, if it didn't, these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. I do wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. You have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.